Hi, my name is Joel Anastasio, Lead Rate Specialist with the Connecticut Public Utilities Regulatory Authority, and I'm here to talk to you about the Take Back Our Grid Act, rate case changes, and performance-based regulation. Connecticut's Take Back Our Grid Act of 2020 established new statutes and changed existing statutes that govern utility company regulation with particular focus on electric distribution companies. In Connecticut, the regulated electric distribution companies are Eversource Energy and United Illuminating. This informational video will focus on two of the three areas of the Take Back Our Grid Act. One, changes in how electric distribution company customer rates are established, and two, an investigation into a new performance-based regulation framework for electric distribution companies. The third area of the Take Back Our Grid Act addresses emergency response requirements for electric distribution companies, but is not discussed in this video. Regarding established customer rates, by law, Electric distribution company rates must be reviewed by Pura at least every four years. Historically, Connecticut has followed a multi-year rate plan where electric distribution company rates have been reviewed every three years. Pura's review of proposed rate changes is commonly known as a rate case. The Take Back Our Grid Act extends Pura's utility rate review period from 150 days to 350 days allowing for more time to complete a thorough investigation of utility financial and operational records. Additionally, the Act allows Pura to consider establishing interim rate decreases as well as new rates for low-income households and to incent economic development. The review of these matters is ongoing and can be found in Pura's online docket system under docket number 17-12-03RE11. Specifically, Pura is currently investigating a rate for low-income customers. Though these matters are being addressed in a separate proceeding, these potential new rates will also be incorporated into an electric distribution company's rate case. Also, the Act requires that electric distribution companies operating in Connecticut have Connecticut-based representation on their boards of directors proportional to Connecticut's share of the company's overall service territory. Regarding performance-based regulation, electric distribution companies currently have a regulated rate of return based on the cost of providing electricity service in their territory, which is also referred to as cost of service. This means that their revenue covers the cost necessary to operate and maintain the electric distribution system plus a reasonable profit. The Take Back Our Grid Act directs Pura to investigate a new approach to regulating electric distribution company profits known as performance-based regulation or PBR. Instead of regulating utility returns solely based on the cost of service, PBR ties utility returns to performance-based metrics that reflect desired regulatory goals and outcomes such as customer empowerment, grid reliability and resiliency, distributed generation interconnection, or greenhouse gas emissions. Under this new regulatory approach, electric distribution companies can earn financial incentives or incur financial penalties depending on performance against established metrics. Though there are some limited PBR mechanisms currently active for Connecticut electric distribution companies, Pure's ongoing proceeding under docket number 21-05 Dash 15 is investigating broader potential PBR application. The resulting decisions from Pura's PBR investigation are likely to be incorporated in future electric distribution company rate cases and may influence the regulatory framework for other utility sectors in the state. To learn more about the Take Back Our Grid Act, please visit the Connecticut General Assembly website and search for House Bill 7006. To learn more about Pura's PBR proceeding, search for docket number 21-05-15 on Pura's online docket system. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time.